welcome. I would like to talk about ranks within the Gothic community. And by this I mean the terms such as baby bat, a goth and an elder goth. It's quite simple to, I guess, define what a baby bat is. It's a person, usually it's a person of young age, who are just getting into the culture and starting to learn. And similarly to baby bats, we have tourists in the culture. Those who simply just borrow the aesthetic from time to time or maybe listen to a few of the bands the subculture emerged from, but don't really necessarily encompass all that is goth. And then you have the goth batch, which is a person who has gone through the baby bat years and is now confidently identifying as a goth. And this is the biggest of the bunch. Most of us are goths, in my definition anyway. And then we have the elusive elder goths. I'm not entirely sure what the official definition of an elder goth is, but mine is quite simple. In my mind, to be considered a potential elder goth, you would have to be old enough to have been around when the scene happened in the early 80s. Old enough and preferably old enough at the time to have some sort of conscious knowledge of, um, of the scene or the music, at least. As an example, I am born in 1984, so if I had been born only five years earlier, I would have been alive at the time, but I wouldn't really have been aware of the scene because I would have been just one or two years old. But had I been born 10 years earlier, I would have been old enough in the early 80s to have some sort of conscious idea of this thing that was happening. And that is basically it. Now, the people I regard as so-called elder goths by my definition, they don't necessarily see themselves as goths even, or elder goths for that matter. But there are a few examples within the community as well. I mean, online as well. And I asked permission to name a few names, but I don't know. I could say that a typical example of an elder goth could be Gillian Venters of the Gothic Charm School. She identifies as a goth and still, to this day, will identify as a goth and she is old enough to have been around at the time of the whole emergence in the subculture. And I don't know. I mean, this is kind of a difficult and uh, probably a source of a lot of resentment from the community as such, but because I link the elder goth idea to being present at the time of the actual occurrence of the subculture, I find it rather difficult to say that a lot of the up-and-coming YouTube goths or goths within the YouTube community 
are elder goths unless they are old enough. If that makes any sense. I don't want to cause any sort of animosity towards anyone here, but we can all agree that Sebastian Columbine has a lot of knowledge in the culture. Sebastian knows a lot and will educate all of us. But at the same time, Sebastian wasn't around in the early 80s, so by my definition, not an elder goth. So, on that same note, a person in the YouTube community which was around actually in the death rock scene at the time is Drula for the Winter. However, Drula for the Winter may not really identify as an elder goth per se, but she was in and around the scene as it happened. So she would fit my definition of an elder goth, but whether or not she chooses to call herself a goth is up to her, of course, as it is with everyone. And other people who would be old enough, more or less, I, I would say Morgor would be old enough. I don't know if he if he was a part of the scene in the 80s, but he could have been. At least he would have had some sort of conscious knowledge of the music that was happening. And to some extent, Nephilim and Corruptus as well. He is just old enough <laughs> to have been conscious of the whole thing in the 80s. And that's all I can think of off the top of my head. Like I was saying, I mean, since I link it so closely to age, it would be kind of difficult to say that someone younger than myself, if I cannot call myself an elder goth because I was born after the fact, I cannot call anyone younger than me an elder goth either, but then other definitions may disagree, and that's fine. So, I guess that's it. And for the record, when I talk to these so-called elder goths, I'm just interested in knowing anything really from the time it happened, because I'm curious. I wasn't around then. So I have no idea what really went on, and it's interesting to have a first-view perspective on such things, I find. <laughs>